Hello everybody, welcome to GST Zen. In this video, I'll show you a live demo of GST Zen's e-invoicing application. We'll take a look at the Excel integration. GST Zen provides a variety of ways you can generate e-invoices. You can directly punch invoices in our building application or you can import invoices from Excel. If you have a custom ERP or database in your organization, GST Zen will fetch invoices from the database. We also support popular ERPs such as Tally, SAP, Microsoft and Oracle. Now let's get started with the demo of the Excel connector. Before doing so, please go to the website einv-apisandbox.nic.in. This is a website run by NIC. In this website, you should register your GST number and obtain a username, password and other credentials. We will use these credentials for the demo. Now let's get started with the demo itself. This is the home page in GST Zen. Let's first add the GST number. Once you enter the GST number, the name will show up automatically and we add the GST number. This is the home page of a GST number in GST Zen. We have a lot of features. Let's now go directly into the e-invoicing feature. In e-invoicing right now, we are making live the Excel and Tally integrations. Let's click on Excel integration, which we'll use for this demo. The first step is to log in to the government's e-invoicing portal. As we had just seen, there is a different website and you should get those credentials from that website. I will use those credentials here. First, you have to enter the portal username in the e-invoice portal and then enter the password. Then there is a separate client ID. Let me enter the client ID. And finally, there is a client secret, which is a 15 character client secret. Once we enter these credentials, we will be able to log in to the e-invoicing website run by the government. And you will see a message saying successfully logged in. Once you are successfully logged in, we can go to the rest of the demo where we prepare the invoice data and generate e-invoices. The first step is to download GST Zen's Excel template. Let me download this template. So this is a macro enabled file. And this file does a lot of validation to make sure that your data is correct and so that you have a smooth experience while creating e-invoices. There is an about sheet listing all the fields that will be required in the e-invoices. Some of these fields are mandatory. Some of these fields are optional. Further, these fields are categorized based on the sections such as supplier details, recipient details, the invoice level details, and so on. Now, let's take a look at this Excel and let's fill in the details. The first thing that we'll need to fill is in the taxpayer's GST number. There is a separate master sheet here where there is a lot of data that we use for validation. And one of those um, values in the master sheet is the taxpayer's GST number. So let me copy that GST number and paste it over here. In case you are a taxpayer with multiple GST numbers in the same pan, you will see all those GST numbers in the in the sheet and you can prepare invoices for multiple GSTs within the same pan. Let me enter the customer's GST number. Let me enter the invoice number. Let me just give it as INV001. Let me enter the invoice date as February 2nd, 2020. The date, the format itself doesn't matter. It should just be an Excel date, right? So let me give the HSN code and give me, uh, enter some description as Compute software license and we can give a taxable value of let's say 1000 rupees and I'm giving a GST rate of 18%. UQC is a mandatory field so we'll enter numbers there. Quantity itself is not mandatory if you 
leave it blank the software will take it as one unit so there are other fields on the right uh, there are about 160 fields of which uh, about 20 fields are mandatory in fact the amount fields are not mandatory because if you provide the taxable amount and the GST tax rate GST then will automatically calculate the amounts for you so I will leave these fields blank and there are fields or place of supply if you want to over if you want to change them you can provide otherwise the software will take default values in this case it will be the state of the customer this is the minimal amount of details that is required and uh, let's now go click on there is a GST Zen so there is a GST Zen button in the menu bar and let's click upload invoices if you click upload invoices GST Zen will validate the data and then ask for a authorization code let's see where to get the authorization code let's go back to the browser then let's review what we did as a first step we downloaded the GST Zen Excel template the next step we filled in the invoice details and the third step we are going to upload the invoices to GST Zen so here is the authorization code and I'm going to copy this authorization code I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to click OK once you do that the data will get uploaded to GST Zen you can review this data here in step 4 it will take about a second let's wait the page now displays the uploaded invoices summary if there are any errors we'll see that here and we can also see the listing of invoices here in this page we have uploaded only one invoice let's go ahead and upload a couple more I'm copying the data and pasting it back here let me simply change the invoice numbers so I am giving the invoice number as 2 now you can see that we have one invoice with one line item and we can we have another invoice with two line items let's change this instead of computer software license let's change this to something like keyboard and mouse so that we'll be able to see this in the invoice let me also change the amounts so that we have a We'll, we'll be able to distinguish them so after filling in the data we upload invoices to GST Zen again we see that the validation is successful let's go back to GST Zen copy the authorization code paste it here and upload we go back to GST Zen and we'll see that firstly in the summary we see two invoices and we'll see that the two invoices show up here now these invoices are present in GST Zen. Creating the e-invoices in the government portal is a very simple process. Simply click upload e-invoices, say yes, and GST Zen will upload all this data to the government portal, generate e-invoices and have the confirmation. And here you go. You see the green tick here indicated, indicating that the e-invoice has been created. We can now view the PDF of the e-invoice that contains the QR code, contains the invoice reference number that the government portal has assigned and the other details of the invoice. Also, these invoices will be saved. These invoices will be saved in the sales register in GST Zen and you can refer to them and review them later. It will also contain the acknowledgement number and acknowledgement date if you need it. This data will directly flow into the GST returns when you want to file them and you can also use it for future reference when you want to compare your books versus the GST returns in the future. We now saw a live demo of GST Zen's Excel connector. Get in touch with us through our website email us or contact us over phone. Thank you for using GSTZen.